Sometimes subtraction can be really easy and we can do it in our heads. Like eight, take away four, or 37, take away 14. But sometimes we need to subtract larger numbers and it isn't so easy to do, especially when we need to use borrowing. I'm going to show you how you can subtract larger numbers with the written method using borrowing. Let's have a go at 5,414, take away 2,231. First, you need to write the two numbers in a column, like in column addition. Make sure the units line up with the units, the tens with the tens, and so on. Now we can start subtracting, but we need to remember to always start at the units, or the smallest end first. The units are easy. Four take away one equals three. So we'll write that underneath the units. Now for the tens. One take away three. We can't take three away from one because three is bigger than one. It would be easier just to swap them around and do three take away one. But we must make sure we don't do that. We can't just move numbers around to make the maths easier. The digits have to stay in the same place or we're changing the numbers and we'll get the wrong answer. We have to make the one bigger. And to do this, we can borrow one from the hundreds. Remember, at the moment, I'm in the tens column. So that one means 10. If I borrow 100, it will now be 110, which is the same as 11 tens. So I'll cross out the 400 and turn it into a three and add the extra 100 to my 10 to make 11 tens. Now I can do 11 take away three, which is eight. So I can write it under the tens. In the hundreds, I now have three take away two, which is one. So I'll write the number in below. Finally, the thousands. Five take away two equals three. So 5,414 take away 2,231 equals 3,183. Now it's your turn. Have a go at subtracting 3,651 from 5,721. For more maths and English tips, check out our YouTube channel or you can visit our website at tutorsunited.org.